Hey, what's up? It's Nerve. Um, I had another one of those nuclear fail matches. <laughs> it's one of those shoulda, coulda, woulda moments where if I mean, maybe I should have played a little more aggressive, maybe I could have uh, gotten enough kills if I wasn't searching for scav packs late in the match. Um, maybe I would have gotten the nuke, but it is what it is. I didn't know going into the match that it was gonna go as well as it did. Like our team was absolutely dominating the other team. Uh, we had map control, we had spawn control, uh, we had drone control. Um, pretty much anything that you could control we were taking care of. And I guess it's unfortunate too because Uplink's one of those game modes. Uh, there are a couple game modes like Uplink where you can end the game really quickly. So if you're trying to go for certain objectives, it's difficult in modes like Uplink because the matches don't last long enough, especially when your team is destroying, which ours kind of was. And with the Razorback, I was able to do pretty well in this map because it's mainly you know, mid to long range engagements. There's some some close range stuff, but a lot of it's usually distant shots. <clears throat> and uh, I went back to putting the ELO site on the Razorback because the default site is okay, but I watched a gameplay that I had the other day where I was playing with the ELO site on the Razorback and I was killing it and you just, at your field of view, your vision is so much better, I think, with a, a different site other than the default on the Razorback. It's just, it's, it's good enough and I think I actually got a nuke with the default site, but I think it's better. I just think it's better with something else, so I think I took off uh, Blast Suppressor or Flak Jacket or something and put on ELO instead. And it works out well, but at the same time I feel like for some reason the Razorback specifically, I feel like I run out of ammo really quick. Uh, I mean, 30 shots, especially when I have rapid fire on it, it's not that big of a magazine. So, I don't know, I feel like, and, and even when I got my nuke before that I uploaded, I had I ran into the same problem that I ran into on this match, where I ran out of ammo. And I'm, you know, frantically kind of searching around trying to find scab packs. And later on in this match, I, the same thing happens, I ran out of ammo. Around the same time that I realized I might be able to get a nuke if I play well enough. Um, but I was able to find some scavenger packs and that part of it worked out. Of course, then the time, <laughs> the time started ticking, and we were scoring a lot, and I just didn't know what was going to happen first, whether we were going to outscore them, or that the, the time was going to be gone. Um, I don't know, the map control was great, that, you know, this, this aspect of it, <laughs> over here with the freaking purifier, just taking them out as soon as they spawn, there's really nothing they can do except that, which I was fortunate to survive there. And also between the sentry gun placement and the uh, UAVs and whatnot, it felt like it was pretty easy to see where the enemies were at most of the time. Although, you know, there were several moments where I kept watching my back and making sure that the spawns weren't flipping or people weren't trying to flank because that happens a lot too. When you're going for nukes, it's important to understand your map position and where enemies are in, in relation, correlation to where you are. So. Anyway, another nuke fail. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.